All right, so having watched it back yesterday, much like you lot did, um, there is a bit of guilt here over what happened with Nathan Ake. Uh, I, I would put him back into the first team, but I'm too afraid. So welcome back to Magpies Millions, Manchester City today. So it's the second of what is a, a strange two-parter. Folks, welcome back to Football Manager with me, Ben, as Magpies Millions continues to be quite the ride, viewers. Sorry, Nathan. I'll, I'll, we'll leave it here. We'll say no more about it, and we'll move on with our lives. And I've come to realise there is one major problem with this side, and that is Kai Havertz. Now, Kai, listen up, mate. You are a very good footballer, and the problem is, mate, you're too good. You're making everybody else look far worse. And I actually think the squad that we've got it's title. I can't, can I? Because you don't believe me, so it's a waste of time. At this point, no one believes anything I say. I'll say we're title winning, then I'll put us in the Europa League, then I'll say we're title winning, and then I'll put us in the Europa League again. But I think that 11, I, I think it's good. I think it's really good. Why do you say it like you're trying to convince yourself, okay? Why do you do it like that? No, I am a good, loving, and supportive boyfriend slash fiancé. After forgetting to put the bins out, you know, for the fourth week in a row. It's all got a bit real there. I can't. Can I put that in the video? It's more documentary, isn't it, than... Fun football manager. You know, you say you one, th you say one thing, but oh, the reactions speak louder than words. Never, never. Unless you're clapping. Usually my actions are quite quiet. I try and, you know, keep myself to myself. Unless, again, unless I'm, I feel, I'm like, that's good over there. And then, now that point, absolutely. So actually, um, actions don't always speak louder than words. Should we get on with it today? So we're going to play Manchester City. We're going to treat it as a bit of a one-off big event. Of course, we've just had our winter break either side of the Liverpool game. And uh, luckily, as you've just seen, we're reporting back. No injuries to speak of. So everyone is fully fit and raring to go for this one. And by fully fit, I mean everyone is pretty much there apart from St. Maximin, who's not got maximum sharpness. But we'll we'll forgo that. Alessandro Martinez is going to come in at the back. Uh, Odorozola is in there as well. Onana, Ruben Diaz, Grimald. I can that back four that's as good as anyone else is in the league I'm, I'm being honest there no one's as good as that they're not i'm getting abused for putting henderson in there selling the long staff people are annoyed about that as well and after what we saw from i see now yeah after what we saw from Aguero last time it wasn't great was it we had four clear-cut chances against liverpool they had one and we lost two nil so it was a great time yeah really fun really fun that really great really great who'd have thought you take jordan henderson out of that liverpool side and they just they carry on being good i wouldn't have i couldn't have predicted that to be honest as uh they've won six from six so good uh, Manchester City so far unbeaten as well we've only lost one like our start to the season's not actually that bad we've lost to the start side they're unbeaten but now this game at City this is very important you can see there look the, the sides around us Manchester United Liverpool both winning their games so we now this is a statement game here we need to say to everyone we're in this league fight and we're here to, to contend or something like that so you can't, oh, what if they hear that a little bit, but then they know it's not true then. Ah, two centre-backs here, needing numbers. I think uh, you can have six, Godfrey. Now let's think about this logically. Godfrey, 23, it rhymes. That's why I pick all my numbers, to be fair. Although Ross Barkley rhymes with car key. And um, yeah, it not, mm, I don't know either of you. I don't know why I'm saying things either. Luckily for me, actions speak louder than words. So looking forward to this. Ah, oh, shit, not that then, sorry. All right then, they've got... Jack Grealish starting for them. <laughs> what? All right, they're not trying. This is cool. Uh, they've got actually quite a, like quite a different side to the side that you're used to seeing. They've got Frankie de Jong in there, who obviously is pretty good. They've got Eric Garcia next to Laporte. They've got uh, Bazunu in there, the Irishman, the young Irishman as well. Blimey, have they got a situation here? Is that why Jack Grealish is starting? What's going on? Edison has got an injury, but they are actually just resting quite a lot of quality players, which... I'm fine with. All right, then. I look at those two 11s, and I'm not convinced that we've got the worst of the two. <clears throat> so if we lose the game, viewers, it's, it seems to me like fluke. But we'll see, won't we? All right, we've got a highlight to kick things off. It's a wet day in Newcastle as the rain is hammering down, viewers, for this almost exhibition match between Newcastle United and Manchester City. Two very evenly matched sides, but who will come out on top as Leon Bailey sets the pace early, finds Aguero, couldn't score for Toffee last game, but after 20 seconds, scores against his former club, celebrates like he played for them and was the greatest player ever. Um, no, he didn't. He was very disrespectful, and I'll talk to him about that. Didn't do enough for me. He should have sort of been doing a bit more fist bumping. But anyway, um, fist pumping, bumping, fist, fist pumping and fist bumping, two different things. So, um, 
Write that one down. But 1-0 up after barely any time. You can see Aguero times his run to perfection as uh, Bailey's through ball is perfect. And on his weaker foot, I think his left foot, um, scores the goal. Look, look, at us, look at us go, viewers. Look at us go. Cheers, everywhere, everyone. Old branding. Old branding. Old branding. Send me the new one, please. I don't have earned it. Don't you? You think? I, I, I mean... Not, not again. Actions speak louder than words, don't they? So leave that, Ben. I don't title these episodes, but you can you can imagine what it would have been called today, can't you, Doctor Benji Tactical Masterclass? <laughs> no, not that. Uh, it would have been actions speak louder than. But then, mm, see, then do actions speak louder than words? Because then words will be speaking louder than actions again. See, it's a very difficult. Oh no, no, makes a good claim there. Maybe he had an, maybe he had a uh, an accident at work. <laughs> claim. It's a joke about the word claim that's uh, often used in. I'm just going to keep watching the match. I know I'm supposed to be the manager, but I thought I sort of take your role during these games. Is that ball there by the best player in the world, Kai Havertz, to Grimaldo. Sets us away once again. Grimaldo goes close. Oh, he scored. It's a cock up by the goalkeeper, to be fair. And Grimaldo has capitalised. 27 minutes gone. And we are champions. No, we're not. We're, we're, we're leading 2-0 against Manchester City, who have decided to play basically a B team. They probably think it's a Carabao Cup game. It's not, is it? Hang on, it's not a Carabao Cup game, is it? It is a... Is a, this is a league game. Grimaldo scores and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're moving up the third now above Manchester City. What a start to the season. Um, if someone could stop Liverpool, that'd be great. You know, just when you think all hope is lost, Liverpool proves to you that it is. Their actions there speaking louder than what I mean. I'm just saying, viewers, um, you know, actions sometimes do speak louder than words, it turns out. Depends if those words are being read aloud, maybe by a loud speaker like a hello it's me that yeah you know like a village hall for, yeah uh can the full Mondeo please move thank you it's very vague that isn't it you, who's Ford Mondeo ball played forward can Aguero is it his I'll tell you what viewers he's playing like a Ford Mondeo a classic a car that we all enjoyed for a short period of time before realizing other cars were probably better but there's Sergio Aguero second goal of the season he's too old said the comment section terrible signing said most of the other people. And there we are. It's another goal. It's 3-0. I'm proving, once again, that managerial... Oh, <laughs> actions speak louder than words, viewers. 3-0. It's been... It's been... Uh, I'd describe it as a romp, viewers. I hopefully you can do that on YouTube these days. We have uh, we have romped. Um, that's right. That's right. I mean, I've got to say, I expected this. Uh, I expected a response after the last game. Especially when I saw that City were again they've made some, they've brought on Divock Origi, which is a good idea, but not going to be that successful, I don't think. Um, Van der Beek's going to come on. Timo Werner is going to come on, uh, maybe on the left hand side for a switch up, get him involved in the play a little bit more. Again, hasn't featured quite so much. I mean, Aguero's bagging goals. You don't want to take him off in case he, he gets upset about not getting a hat trick. As uh, City forward there, it's cleared away. Sterling and De Bruyne, they're the two stars of this side, of course. They can't seem to get anything going at this point. Laporte, another one of them. Those three trying to sort of carry everyone else over the line. It doesn't seem to be happening just yet. There was Sterling, though, does beat his man. Can he get a shot in from there? He goes close. Onana, though, goes massive as well. Makes a really big save. And uh, there we are, look. We're cruising, viewers. We're having a lovely time. De Bruyne's corner in. Laporte heads over. Ah. Uh, viewers, are you enjoying this Premier League action? Yeah, I'm doing that. But are you enjoying this Premier League action? Because this weekend, the Streamer Showdown Premier League Edition kicks off uh, tomorrow, Friday. It is. Uh, what's the actual date for that? I know I'm aware there's football going on. Uh, 26th of June, seven o'clock, which is tomorrow if this goes live uh, on my Twitch channel as well as lots of other Twitch channels. Nine football manager streamers contend for the Streamer Showdown. Uh, if you're watching in the future, you know you pick up this Newcastle save. Um, it's never happened by that. Hopefully, we're on like season 14 by now. I don't know. But yeah, Premier League focus. You pick, you get 15 Premier League players, and then you've got to pick five wild cards from other top leagues in Europe. As Havertz goes close, I think Werner might be offside. But if he's not, I'll tell you what, viewers, he's not. It's a demolition job, and maybe he'll be picked because technically, now actually, no, he's not really technically a Premier League player just yet, is he? How's that for Chelsea, though? Could be a wild card option, viewers. I mean, tune in and find out as Havertz there, strike on goal, Werner there on hand to poke home. 4 0. 4 0. That's right. I hope they've got a statue of me. Put it next to Shearer, you know. Maybe, you know, because he's got sort of the, uh, the the Alan Shearer celebration. Maybe if I could do like the opposite, we could high five. That'd be nice. Probably ruin it, wouldn't it? But that, I think it'd be good. But there we are. Alan Shearer's Newcastle United, managed by me, uh, prove once again we're a dominant force in English football. How's the Tyrone Masters getting on? Probably terribly. Shall we have a look? Shall we? Yeah, we'll have a look. 
two goals in four games. <sighs> Aguero does that in one game, mate. I mean, he's the only two guys. He's got the same record, actually. In fact, it's worse. Oh, okay, well. I think the important thing to note here is that I didn't accidentally put anybody in the under-23s. And that's the real quiz, viewers. But that is going to be a bit of a short episode today. We've got that City game out of the way. We've won it comfortably. We look good. And, uh, yeah, coming up later on, I don't know when our next episode will be, really, viewers. I mean, do we do the, the poll again that I always forget to do? In fact, YouTube, viewers. YouTube. Getting rid of polls. Can you believe it? Do you think that's a good idea? Vote now. But that is going to conclude today's episode. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. I've had fun. And hopefully you have too. A 4-0 win. Um, who was your man of the match? Um, actually, no, no. I don't want to know the man of the match. I want an action to maybe suggest who's man of the match. You know? This is, that's, that's challenging, isn't it? You'll, you'll come up with something. You're clever people. I'll see the comments. You know, you're always making funny jokes about me. <laughs> Insulting me. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're safe, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Want to see more? Make sure you subscribe. Glory Hunter letter today as well. I love you so, so much. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Uh, another advert for today. I stream one till five. I'll be live later. See you, everyone. Bye. Do you know that I stream? I feel like most of you know by now, and you've chosen not to come watch. So, <sighs> actions speak louder than words.